Imagine yourself in your chemistry lab mixing together solutions. You make a solution by mixing together 50 milliliters of water and 50 milliliters of ethanol, and your lab instructor tells you that you need to calculate the number of moles of each species in your solution. She writes only two numbers on the board to help you, the density of water and the density of ethanol, but you don't really know what to do with that information. But don't worry, we'll walk through how to approach this type of problem in this video. What is always the first step when you encounter a problem like this, in which you want to go from volume to the amount of stuff in moles? When we have a lengthy word problem like this, it's good to get into the habit of drawing a beaker and putting the amounts of stuff into it. Currently, what we can put under the beaker are the volumes of ethanol and water. The volumes go under the beaker. But of course, our goal is to convert these to moles of each and put those numbers in the beaker. How can we convert the volume of water, a pure substance, to moles of water? There isn't a single step way to do this, but all hope is not lost. We know how to convert mass to moles, but we don't have mass. That's why your lab instructor actually gave you a key piece of information, the density of water. Density is given in grams per milliliter, so it's our key to converting from volume to mass and then to moles. We'll multiply the 50 milliliters of water by the density of water, making sure to cancel out the milliliter units. Just like that, we went from volume to mass. But we want to know how many moles of water we have, so we need to do one more step. How many moles of water are there in our 50 milliliter sample of water? The molar mass of water is 18.02 grams per mole. The last step in our conversion is to multiply by the molar mass, making sure to cancel out the gram units so that it leaves us with moles. Once we multiply everything out, we get that there are 2.77 moles of water in 50 milliliters. Let's add this information to our beaker. Note that we're keeping one more digit of precision than the number of significant figures, which is 2. We do this to avoid round off errors later in the problem. Now let's do the same thing for ethanol. How many moles are in 50 milliliters of ethanol? The molar mass of ethanol is 46.08 grams per mole. There are 0.856 moles of ethanol in 50 milliliters of ethanol. The process for calculating this is exactly the same as how we calculated the number of moles of water in 50 milliliters, but using the density and the molar mass of ethanol. We start with the 50 milliliters of ethanol, and we use the density to cancel out our units of volume and get us to units of mass. Now that we are in grams, we multiply by the molar mass of ethanol. This allows us to cancel out the gram units and leaves us with moles. We get that we have 0.856 moles of ethanol in the mixture. We'll add this to our beaker as well. Notice that we keep the chemical species next to the quantity in the beaker. We want to make sure that we know which quantity in moles corresponds to which species. Let's look at another example. Vinegar mixed with a few drops of soap is a common way to defend your kitchen against fruit flies. Vinegar is generally 4% acetic acid and 96% water by volume. But how many moles of acetic acid and water is this? First things first, we have to figure out the volumes of each component of vinegar. If we had a 100 milliliter sample of vinegar, how much acetic acid would it contain? That's right, there would be 4 milliliters of acetic acid in a 100 milliliter sample of vinegar. The rest of the 96 milliliters are water. We'll put this information under the beaker. How many moles of water are in our sample? The density of water is 1.00 grams per milliliter and the molar mass of water is 18.02 grams per mole. There are 5.34 moles in 96 milliliters of water. We'll use the same steps as before. We start with 96 milliliters of water and use the density as our conversion factor to get us to grams. Now we'll use the molar mass of water to get us into moles. Once we multiply everything out, we get that there are 5.34 moles in 96 milliliters of water. Now calculate how many moles are in 4 milliliters of acetic acid. The density of acetic acid is 1.05 grams per milliliter, and the molar mass of acetic acid is 60.05 grams per mole. There are 0.70 moles in 4 milliliters of acetic acid. To calculate this, we start with 4 milliliters of acetic acid. We'll multiply by the density, which lets us cancel out the milliliter units and leaves us with grams. We can now multiply by the molar mass of acetic acid to cancel out the grams and be left with moles. When we multiply everything out, we get that there is 0.70 moles in 4 milliliters of acetic acid. So our beaker contains 0.70 moles of acetic acid and 5.34 moles of water. The total volume of the solution in the beaker is 100 milliliters. We're now ready to solve any problem that comes our way. In this video, we practice drawing beakers with moles of each species based on the volume of pure liquids added. Like all problems, the first step is always drawing a beaker with the number of moles of each chemical species.